Today we'll be looking at the Moto Blur UI ROM on the Nexus 4. What's cool about it is that it's based off of Sanage Mod, so it's not really laggy like it is on Motorola phones that sport Moto Blur. It's also based off of Android 4.2.2, in case you were wondering. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM itself. The app drawer is pretty much the same. The only difference is your home screens. If you swipe to the left, then you'll see that you have a quick settings menu. If you swipe all the way to the right, then you'll notice that you have an add a page option. So you can add a blank page, or in this case, you can actually add a preset page, which will take all of your apps and categorize them into one page, in this case, YouTube. When you press home button, it'll bring up the manage pages option in which you can remove specific pages. My favorite part so far about Moto Blur is definitely the little clock widget. It's pretty awesome. You can just swipe them around and there's even some animations. Another thing about Moto Blur that I found really cool is that they have really awesome wallpapers included. You can just scroll through all of them and you can see that all of them are really high resolution, they're just really cool. And yeah, if you just like apply any of them, then your phone will look just awesome. Thanks for watching guys and there will be links in the description to the Moto Blur UX ROM for you to flash. In the meantime, I will be cleaning the dirt out of my Nexus 4, so once again guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you all later.